Talking about the dugout. What? The dugout. Dugout. The bar. Yeah. Because we go there too. Huh? We go there too. You do? How long has that been there? I was 18. Wow. I just got my first paycheck in Sexton Canning Company and I went out to celebrate. Long thing to do. <laughs> Tell him the story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I said I was 18. The match was stupid. <laughs> so I went up there. Uh, they didn't have to do it. a long time. I drank a lot of beer and a lot of whiskey shots. I was totally wiped out. I went in the bathroom. Why I did I don't know, but I punched through the wall. And after two or three holes, <laughs> pretty good. The guy comes in, I probably heard it, comes in, seeing me, he went back out and got two more guys. These are all big guys, up maybe your size. Well, thank you. And Two held me and the other one just beat the living hell out of me. <laughs> took my billfold, took all my money. Mm. <laughs> and then they threw me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had awesome. hearing aid glasses that cost $1,200 back oh, then. Wow. Made into the size and looked like Buddy Holly glasses up here. Oh man, I don't know. Anyway, he threw me out. Well, I, that was the wrong thing to do. I was mad. Went out to my car, got this long Mexican boy, about that long, and went back in there. Well, he was standing behind the door of a pool stick. He broke the pool stick over my head, and it didn't even really phase me. I turned around and looked at him. And I just took off out the door, ran down that south street right next to it, all the way over to east, and made it all the way to Prospect and East Street for about 30, before 30 people caught up with me. <laughs> oh, well, they arrested me, you know, took me to the hospital and then to the jail. And then the next morning, when I went into court, went into court, and the judge just said, they asked me how old I was. I said, no. He said, don't worry about it, boy. We'll take care of them. <laughs> said, go on home. I do go home, but I stock off a Peppy Grill, not Peppy Grill, but the Chet and Chat Grill, which is where me and your dad hung out. They seen me, well, I had white buck shoes on, those pat green white buck shoes, <laughs> all bloody as hell. <laughs> nice light colored clothes, all bloody as hell. Big bloody band-aid on my head. When I walked in the grill, and they were all ready to go up there and clean the house. I, I held that off. Well, I was really, I was lucky. When I walked in with that knife, he could have just shot me. And then Charlie was in his rights. What year was that? What year? Let's see. 59. It had been 59 or 60. Hmm. 